Yeah, you know, you know, like, tell me about it. Yeah, I'm just here doing champ things. Yeah, I'm on this, like, stupid award show called the, the Shrekies or something. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, well, oh, um, I'll call you back. We're live, pal. Welcome back! Welcome back, everyone, to uh, to our conclusion of the Shockies, uh, in which we will be covering our next two topics, being the top three MSGA TV moments of of MSGA TV because it started in 2019. So oh, you can't really of the year, yeah. Okay, yes, um, and also our top ten matches of 2019, um, and we will, excuse me, be in fact kicking off with the top three. Moments of MSGA TV. Yes. And uh, should I start it? Or? Yeah, go for it. All right. It's your show. All right. I'll start off with my number three. Three. We have a new champion crowned. That is our current Bob Holly Quintuple Crown champion of the multiverse. The title is very prestigious here on this show. I'll straighten that out a little bit. But if it is straightened out, I can't tell. It's because. perfect. All right. Just like me. Um. But anyways, what a moment that was, uh, the, the, the crowning of the champion and, and just uh, the comeuppance that it was for the champion. And so um, there we have it. You're, uh, right. um, you're, you're number three. It's going to all be off the top of my head here, but I'd say my number three would be um, the introduction of the bubbly. Introduction of the bubbly. Introduction of the bubbly. Introduction of the bubbly. Oh, awesome. uh, the bubbly. Thanks to Chris Jericho for, um, you know, Making that whole meme. Yeah. Making the word bubbly like such a prestigious word. Basically. And just then we found the bubbly at, at Target, the most posh shopping center in the world. Right. And uh, it just became a thing. And then I think probably on the most recent episode before this, yes. if not two before, is the, the, yeah. the, the special of the bubbly. Mm -hmm. and it was beautiful. It really was. Touched our hearts in very many ways. Yes. Um, and then for my number two. I have the recap, the recount of the Hula Hoop Massacre of 1987 in Tacoma, Washington. That'll be my number two as well. All right. Yes. Uh, just the fact that it started from uh, from a simple a simple ban um, from New Japan. Thanks, New Japan. Thanks, New Japan. Thanks, You're New the Japan. ones to thank for this. Uh, uh, yeah, just such an incredible thing was sparked from such a such a small thing and that, that whole uh, interview I did yeah. complete there was no script it was all from the heart it really was <laughs> it was and it uh, was a, it's what I felt that the day that I was stuck in my, my house in Tacoma Washington in 1987 for three three weeks it's okay okay I'm gonna break kayfabe here all right breaking kayfabe every time that I went to cry into my hands that was me laughing that I had to hide it because it was like a six, seven minute long video. I didn't want to cut it. It had to be all one long video. One shot. So anytime you saw me go, that was me trying not to laugh. Understandable. Acting. Acting. So that's my number two as well. Um, and then, of course, with um, with all the uh, all <clears throat> my assistants that I had for this, all for the people that I had along to join on the ride, also to break kayfabe. I just said, hey, you want to do this interview? All you have to do is just talk about hula hoops, a massacre, and Tacoma 1987. The rest is yours. Yes, um, the rest is history. And so, Because remember, history started many years ago. Yeah, and a lot of things have happened since history started, which, yes. as you said, was a long time ago. Quite a few years ago, history became history. And for number one... Number one! To... Uh, to uh, be the antonym of your number three, I have a lot, a bit of the bubbly. Yes. Just because I feel like that is uh, our uh, it's one a of being. It's one of our strides it's a here, here on MSGA TV. Yes. Uh, if we get sponsored for bashing your product, we <laughs> we appreciate that. I actually, I just followed them on Twitter. Really? So um, I'm gonna. I think I might as well. Also, I don't really twit that much, but you know, we'll uh, it'll be worth it. We'll. Uh, more and more on that later. Yes. Uh, so my number one is, of course, me winning the title. Yeah, of course. It was it's a very glorious occasion. For the second time. The second time, you know, I uh, I lost it in a very depressing manner, yeah. but I'm glad I could fight that depression and come out on top. That's great. Thank you. And with that said, 
With that said, ladies and gentlemen, we bring you to our final category, our final top 10 list, and it is the top 10 matches of 2019. And this, as every other category on our list, spans all the companies across the world. Every all the, company. All the promotions, every, every match is subject to this, but we chose our 10 best. The best. So, so uh, my just just to let you all know that this might have some controversial choices. I know that mine might have some controversial choices on here. Um, so I guess we'll uh, we'll get started. Uh, I guess you should start this. Oh man, this is hard. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm looking at my list right now and I want to change stuff. I'm not going to. My number ten. I'm going with the women's war games match. Wow. Yeah. A more recent one, to be sure. Very recent. It was, it was just a good match. I, I didn't know what to expect from it, and it was more than I expected, right. which was nothing what to expect. Anyways, uh, yeah, it was a great match. It was like a handicap match, basically. It was. And there was just some, some crazy spots, and it was just good. Yeah. Um, Love the finish. That's all I got for you. Ripped tied through the chair. That was, yes. that was great. <laughs> yes. Um, my number 10. Mine, this is probably the most controversial choice on my list. It is WWE Halftime Heat. Ah. Because that match felt, as best I can describe, like such a PWG match. It really was. In so many ways. Just because the majority of PWG matches I've seen have been like six-man tag matches. And I haven't seen much of PWG. Um, but yeah, for the majority of what I have seen, it has been six-man tag matches, and from that, like, compared with what Halftime Heat was, it was just awesome. So many spots, and just, that's when Adam Cole finally brought the, uh, Panama Sunrise to WWE, uh. when he first used it, which he'd go to use much later. Um, and so yeah, it's just such a great match, and this is when Johnny Gargano was, like, kind of in his heel phase, when he was North American Champion, actually. But anyways, yeah, and so, yeah, so you had, a uh, Cole Champion Gargano versus Velveteen Dream, Aleister Black, and Ricochet. And so, yeah, just a top to bottom awesome match. It was pretty awesome. So that was originally my number nine. Was it? I'm calling an audible right now. Ooh. Wow. Middle of the video. Whoa. Yep, John Madden, this is what's up. I'm actually going to take this match that was an honorable mention mm. and throw it into the main list. Okay. At numero nine. Uh, from Whack. Rated E for everyone. Zach Cooper versus Daniel Mikabe. Wow. That's a good... That's I, good. That, I didn't know where to put that on my list because yeah. there's been so many matches this year. That was an honorable mention, and I thought about it during the making of this video. Right. I'm like, this this needs to, this needs some love. It was, it was a very good match. It was. There's ways to watch it. I forgot where Wax streams their stuff now. I am sorry, Max. But hit up them on the social medias, and they have links, like, every day they post. So, that match was incredible. Was. I want to see it again. I do, too. And... Please make it happen again, Max. Please. Book it, Max. Book it, Max. All right, so, for my number nine, I have... Also, this could be a controversial choice, because I feel like not many people have seen this match who would know what I'm talking about. But we have one of, I think, three Will Ospreay matches versus... Robbie Eagles at Southern Showdown when New Japan had their show in Australia. I didn't watch that. Yeah, okay. their match for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight title was so great. I was on the edge of my seat practically the whole time just because there were so many moments where I'm like, oh my gosh, is Robbie seriously about to win this? <laughs> and it's in, it's, in, you know, it's in his hometown. And that was really when I started to like become really interested in Robbie Eagles as, as a performer. Robbie. Um, Robbie. Um, and so, yeah, and then that match, I think, definitely made Rob Eagles one of my favorites ever. Uh, so, yeah, it's just that match was just awesome. And it's a Will Ospreay match, so where can you go wrong? Uh, well, yeah, you really can't. Yeah, yeah you can't. Really can't. Not with Ospreay. Nope, really can't. Uh, number eight? Eight. Eight. Number eight. Number eight time. I, this was another match. I, I really didn't know where to put it on my list. It's very recent. From Survivor Series. Mm -hmm. Adam Bull. Hey, hey. Which is Pete Dunne. Uh, I, I figured since this was an NXT match on the main roster, it was going to suck. Mm -hmm. Or just not be that great. Yeah. Started off a little slow, but once it hit the midway point, I just, I lost my stuff. Yeah. It was a very great match. It was awesome. It's Pete Dunne. It is. It's Adam Cole. Baby. 
And it was for the NXT title. Yes. And that's that's honestly all. That's it was, undisputed. It was, it was it was really good. It was so good. Um, I'd watch it again. I would too. Um, my number eight is from AEW's All Out, Young Bucks versus the Lucha Brothers in Escala de la Muerte. See. Si. Um, that match was full of the spots. All the spots. So many spots Every in this spot. match. So, and I think my favorite spot of the whole night was when, um, I think it was Phoenix did the, um, Canadian Destroyer, Panama Sunrise, whatever you call it, on, I think it was Nick, or Matt, one of the two, threw a table off of a ladder. It's like, oh my gosh. Uh, but yeah, just, that match was just, you know, even though I, I would kind of steer away from just having just pure spot fest matches on, on a list. <laughs> no. Um, but <laughs> either way, um, so yeah, definitely Young Bucks and Leech Bros is one of my favorite top ten matches. So, I forgot about that match. Um, number seven. Call another audible? No, no, <laughs> not this time. All right. Number seven. Speaking of Will Ospreay, mm -hmm. Okada versus Will Ospreay from the G1. Uh, the only reason it's as low as it is is because Ospreay figuratively, literally, it makes sense to me, killed Okada multiple times in the match. He killed him dead. And then brought him back and killed him again. Undertaker style. And it was just like... It was hard for me to believe. Yeah. That sounds really Markish, But that's the only thing that took me on the match. Other than that, the match was amazing. Yeah. Spots. Physical. People were getting hit. Yeah. I've done this a lot in this video. Gosh darn it. It was just a great match. It really was. I don't remember which night it was. It just, it was good. It was, I think, one of the later, or latter of the nights. Probably. My Watch number, uh, insert number here, is at seven. Seven. Well, here you go. Call me a Mark. Mark. We have Kota Ibushi versus Jay White from the G1 Climax Finals. I didn't watch that one either. <laughs> that match, I believe, is one of the best matches of the whole G1 tournament, if not the best one, because I think that that is the uh, the one match from the G1 that I do have on here, because I didn't want to have a whole bunch of matches from one uh, tournament or show or whatever it's on there. It's easy to do. Yeah, it is. Uh, so I felt like just having one match represent the entire G1, because the G1 itself was just so great. I feel like Jay White and, uh, and Kota Ibushi in the finals of it does represent it very well. Um, just the, the storytelling that it had with it was just so fantastic. You have Jay White, who's the, the sleazy, dirty heel, and Kota Ibushi, the, the squeaky clean baby face, who's really just trying to get that one moment. Uh, and having that moment pay off in such a big way is just it's such a great story. Um, the match itself was just full of incredible moments. So many near falls and all that. I just love that. I love my near falls. And how, I, how many near countouts were there? It was a New Japan match. I know. I, maybe two. Okay. Maybe two. That's good. That's Just because, you know, it's the finals. Yeah, so, you know. Got, got a space in. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and the match, you know, is lengthy and all that. So, yeah, it's just an all-around awesome match. Nice. nice. Well, my number six. six. Uh, number six. I am going. Take over 25. Riddle versus Roddy. Ooh. I already talked about it in my pay-per-view yes. video about yeah, 20 hours ago. Um, <laughs> it was a good match. It really was. Uh, I, I hurt after watching that match because it was very physical. Very. Yes, there were many, many chop, chops, chops, and chop city, knees, and everything else that goes into a Roger Strong match. And Roger Strong <laughs> and real match. Right. Um, I'm sure I've seen these guys fight in like PWG at some point, or at least, well, maybe not. I don't know. Anyways, but it was just really good. It really, was. really heckin' good. My number. Six. Six I, years of shock. I believe that you covered this one already. But uh, Pete Dunne versus Adam Cole. I sure did. Uh, basically the same reason as him. Just it was such a great match. For, for a match that had literally no build going into it. Because you found out who was going to be having a match with Cole like a day before. So you have no story going into it. Except for the fact that Pete is having a match that really didn't matter in this sense. And like you said before, uh, having a, a NXT match on the main roster for a pay-per-view is just like, uh, okay. 
They're going to be watered down a lot, uh, but they really work. Just like the Bud Leak being watered down. <laughs> Depressed cherry. Anyways. Uh, my turn? Yes. Okay. Number five. Number five. Where is number five? Oh, I forgot to put number five. Nope. There it is right there. Okay, that's good. Oh, I forgot they even put this on my list. Oh. Number five, Johnny Gargano versus Ricochet. Wow. Takeover Phoenix. Takeover Phoenix. Oh, my there gosh. Was. That was the first takeover, right? That was the first takeover of the year. Yep. yep. It was a really good match. Yeah. Sadly, I don't remember any like exact spots in it, but the feels were there. All I remember is when he like took the floor off, and then he suplexed Ricochet on yeah. it, and threw him in, and hit the DDT, and then won. It was um, good. Yeah, that was really good. And that's kind of when Gargano finally turned heel for that a little point in time. Yeah. Um, that was just... It was a really good match. Yeah, it was. I think that was a match that I always went back and watched when it was still hot in my mind. Pardon um, me, I must sneeze. Never mind. Okay. Uh, for my next choice, I do have a Johnny Gargano match. Uh-oh. We have Johnny Gargano versus Adam Cole 2 at TakeOver 25. Now, some people say that their first match at TakeOver New York was their best one with the two out of three falls. Some people say that their match at TakeOver Toronto was the best one because of the... <laughs> Blessed. Blessed. Because of the steel cage. Um... Uh, and that whole match that was, but I truly believe that TakeOver 25 was their, their best match of their three, uh, simply because it was just, it was just a one fall, first of all. One fall! One fall! Um, and just the, the story that went into it is that, you know, you'd think that it would be the other way around. You have the, the face who's working to beat the dirty heel for the, the for the world title, who's going through all these trials and tribulations, but really it was the other way around for Adam Cole, who had not won the NXT title up to this point. And yes, he was, he had won every other title beforehand, but not the main one. And then he finally did. And then that was just like, that really brought everything together. And he's, I think, the second ever um, Grand Slam champion of NXT as a result of that. Probably. So um, yeah, it's just fantastic. And congrats to Adam Cole on that. So I'm going to piggyback off of this. Uh-oh. At my number four. Gargano versus Cole. Just any any of the three. Any of the three. Any okay. of the three, honestly. Okay. I yeah. thought they were all great. Yeah. Those dudes have great chemistry. Yes, they do. Uh, they killed it in every match that they had this this year, this last year, this 2019. This, yeah. And, uh, yeah, it was just a very good... There's three, right? Yes. Yes. Very good three matches that they had. Yes. For every reason why you... You said yes. Watch them. Please do. If you have not, please do. Then, at my number, wow, I'm surprised I have this one here. Your number, wow. I've never yeah. heard of that number. My before. number four. I am surprised I have this one here. Wait, right. wait a second. Do I have oh. this right? This is audible time. Yeah, I, I might have to call uh -oh. it audible. Uh oh. We need a sound effect for this. <laughs> we need a sound effect for this. I have to call an audible. I am switching two rounds right here. My number four, switch with my now number three, is Undisputed Era, Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish versus The Revival. Wow. On NXT TV from earlier uh, in November before Survivor Series. Wow. That match was, was fantastic. It was really good. It was so good. Like, all of those guys, they've never had a match with each other before, I don't think. Um, and who would have thought that in their first match together they would have had probably their best match they'd ever have together. It was a very lengthy match for, you know, having main roster guys on a NXT show. It was very lengthy for what it was. It was so great. They really tore the house down in that match. I think that that was probably the best NXT TV match of that whole month. Probably the... One of the best. One of the best, like, probably period for tag team matches anyways. Yeah. Um on NXT, so there we have it. There we go. My number four. My number three. Top three. This might be a surprise. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Osprey versus Amazing Red, Super J Cup, wow. Night One, Tacoma, Washington. Wow. Uh, I have been a fan of Amazing Red since early 2000s when I first saw him on TNA. I had no idea who he was, but <laughs> no pun intended, he was amazing. Uh, 
I've always wanted to see him. I heard, I think he like um, retired earlier this year or something. Could have been a year or two ago. He retired at some point. Came out of retirement for this match with Osprey and now he's wrestling regularly again. Mm -hmm. But this is like a dream match to everybody, for everybody. For me, yeah. I've never seen Osprey in person either. Right. So I don't think I have. So just to see these two guys in the same ring, live, in person, mm -hmm. in Tacoma, Washington. Mm -hmm. Not in 1987. No, not. Nobody died, uh, died that night. No. That's my number three, Osprey, Amazing Red. Wow. All right. And my number three, which was inaudible. This might also be a surprise for you. I'll we stop. have four. The United Kingdom oh. Championship at NXT UK TakeOver Cardiff, Walter and Tyler Bate. At number three? At number three. I, I'm going to head out. All right. <laughs> I, I really can't say enough good things about that match. Um, it was so great. It was so great. Like, wow. I can't even put into words how great it was, aside from that, it was so great. It was, yeah. it was unbelievable. Walter. Walter. And Tyler. Wait, got a... Oh, no, I dropped my... Got a thing. Yeah. Wait, wait. Ah, there we go. There we go. Walter. Walter and Tyler Bate. Wow. Yeah. Just... There we go. It was fantastic. Watch it if you have not. Gosh. Do it. Please. All right. I kind of want to call an audible myself. Okay. But I'm not going to. Okay. Because I made this list. Mm -hmm. And I checked it twice. <laughs> yeah, you did. Santa Claus. Yeah. Anyways, number two. Number two. two. Uh, going with Defy, mm -hmm. Wrestle Summit Night Two. Mm -hmm. You already know what's up. Mm -hmm. Jake Atlas versus Cody Chun for the uh, PCW Ultra Light Heavyweight Championship. Mouthful. <sighs> that Mouthful match up. was incredible. That really was. I've only I've seen Jake Atlas two or three times now live. Wasn't really too sure who he was. Um, before this year? No, I don't I saw him at some point, probably PWG, and I was like, oh, this guy's really good. Uh, Cody Chun, he's a local guy. Uh, first time I saw him, everybody was behind him. Like, everybody loved Cody, but I was like, he's good. I don't really get it, though. Then the more matches I see of him, I'm like, wow, this guy is really good. So Jake Atlas and Cody put on a absolute classic at Wrestle Summit Night ah. 2. Oh, hey! I did not plan that. Classic Cody. Uh, uh, Shinsuke! Anyway, uh, yeah, that match. So many near falls. All the near falls. Uh, everybody, I was exhausted after this match. Yeah, it was um, It was the first half main event? No. No, that, no, that was, was the match before the main that event. That was. Okay, yeah, this Maybe. match just killed me. I... I, this should have been the main event. Yeah. Not judging the way they booked the show. Nice. Just saying this match had like everything I wanted from a wrestling match that I could see in person in Seattle, Washington for a championship. Uh, it was good. <laughs> I'm going to leave it there. All right. Just if you have any way to watch the match, hunt it down. Yes, please. Check it out. Please do. It was good. So. <clears throat> my, uh. My second to last pick, also a Will Ospreay match. No way. We have Will Ospreay versus Shingo Tagaki at Best of the Super Juniors final. That that match was so good. It was so good. It had all the tools between two guys to be such a great match. For Shingo, who I think did not lose once, in that tournament going up to that point. That's right. He had not lost one match, and he made it to the finals. And then you have Osprey, who was kind of, you know, here and there. I think he may have lost a few, and he got to the finals. And then you have Osprey just, boom, winning. Got the trophy. Winning. winning won, won the trophy, then went on to win the IWGP Junior Heavyweight title. That match was just... I, I feel like I need to go watch it again, actually, after talking about it. Uh, just be... It was such a such a great match. So many fantastic spots between all the guys, or not all the guys, both the guys, all, um, of, them. all of them. Even even the ref. Oh, uh, was it red shoes. <laughs> yeah, well, I think yeah, I think it was red shoes. And of course, he's included. Um, 
But, uh, yeah, so, and Shingo, I hadn't really known much about him beforehand. I saw it uh, when they won the, the junior tag titles at Wrestle Kingdom earlier that year, uh, and that was kind of all I knew about him. I knew that he had joined LIJ, uh, but that was really all I knew about Shingo, and so then I saw this match, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm on both their bandwagons. <laughs> uh, Mark! Yeah, pretty much. I'm not a Shingo Mark. I'm more of an Osprey Mark than him. I don't believe that. No, definitely. I'm, I'm, I'm more of a Jay White mark than an Osprey mark, so... That's... Yeah, that's true. Um, but anyways, yeah, so Osprey and Shingo is just such a great match, and there we have it. All right. Well, it's, it's that time. It's that time. For number one. Number one. The match of the year. Match of the year. The be-all, be end-all. The cat's pajamas. Mm -hmm. The bee's knees. Mm -hmm. The bubbly's lack of taste. There's two, yeah. My number one from TakeOver, UK, Cardiff, Europe, Walter versus Tyler Bate. Mm -hmm. It was a very long match. It was long. It was very physical. There were many near falls, I think. Mm -hmm. Probably were. Uh, it was just a phenomenal match. I wasn't... I mean, I, I watch NXT UK once in a while, but I think I was kind of falling out of it by here. And this was just an amazing match, from beginning to end. It was, like I said, it was a long match, but it didn't feel overly long. It actually felt like it meant to be that long, or was supposed to be. And it was just a really good match. It really was. A really good match. Really good match. Uh. Speaking of really good matches. Oh, yes. My number one. I, I know exactly. You already know what it is. Zia Lee. Versus, uh... Shane Baszler from NXT TV. Oh. I was going to say, uh... Another person. Anyways. Number one pick, we have... Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder! From Super J Cup, night one, in Tacoma, Washington, we have... Will Ospreay versus Amazing Red. That match is the best match I've ever seen. Of 2019 and in person like even like throw away the in-person factor it still would be my match of the year hands down yeah like it was really good beforehand i would have you know said that probably walter and bait would be my number one yeah. but then going on to see this match and all my expectations were blown out of the water because i had not seen a single amazing red match i had seen a few um uh, a few Will Ospreay matches of court. Well, actually, I've seen a bunch of Will Ospreay matches beforehand, so I know what Ospreay is capable of, but I did not know what Amazing Red was capable of. And just, you do that. it was so awesome to see that match. And honestly, I would not have picked a better match to a open the tournament to close um, the yeah, first round. Yeah, to headline main event. the main event, the first round. But it was, yeah. And also to just kind of establish these two, like A in New Japan and Osprey, you know, is one of the greatest juniors of all time. Um, and so, yeah, it's just definitely a, a, a monumental match, I think, for me as a wrestling fan, uh, just because that match was just so awesome. And uh, if you have any way to watch it, that would be the one that I'd most recommend to watch. So, there you go. There's that. All right. And um, with that said... This uh, this concludes the Shockies, our, uh, our our Shocky Awards that that we that we spent so long and so hard coming up with these lists. They were very hard. They were they were so difficult to put these lists together. My notes things scratched out. I I just did this all in one thing just because I'd already written it out beforehand. I just wanted to make it look like it was some more professional thing. Anyways, there we have it. Thank you all so much for watching this. We hope you all enjoyed very dearly. We hope you made it through the entire video. Uh, yeah, we do, because we know that this is very long. It is. Um, and uh, if you want to uh, go to certain categories, we will have our list posted in the uh, description below. Hey guys, Chase here. Upon realizing that we will be doing a two-parter, we will not be having timestamps in the description, which is what we would have been talking about. Anyways, here's us rambling. For this one, you can click on the one five lines below. We can't put them there.
well, with the power of the internet, mm. people will see me pointing down. Ah, so, like I'm so gonna scroll down. down there. Yes. Uh -huh. down. So, like, here's the bottom of the screen. Oh. It's, like, down here. Like, you can't see right. me anymore. I think, I think this is the bottom of the screen, oh. so it will be down there. So it's just watch the video. Yeah, just just and go in the description if you want if you want to. We do highly suggest you go through the whole thing because our list is very well put together. Yes, I believe. Anyways, it's our opinion. So and that's the only opinion that matters. Ah, ah. All right. So if you all enjoyed this, please feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, boss, and stuff down below. Be sure to tap that notification bell so you can be notified as soon as we make an upload. As I make an upload, either way. Um, and until then, take care. Stay awesome. And we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.